The next topic in the discrete probability distributions is binomial distribution. The binomial distribution is also known as Bernoulli distribution because it was derived by the mathematician Jacob Bernoulli. If the data or the experiment follows some conditions, then we can use binomial distribution to get the probabilities. The first condition is number of trials n is finite and fixed. That means number of trials are limited. You can say that it is limited to 20, 25, 30, not more than that. Number two, the outcomes of each trial can be classified into two categories, say success and failure. That means whatever the outcomes of the experiment or any trial of the experiment are, they are classified into two categories only, success and failure. Success means getting the desired result and failure means not getting the desired result. The third condition is all trials are independent. All trials are independent. That means the result of any preceding trial does not affect the result of any succeeding trial. Similarly, the result of any trial is not influenced by the result of any forthcoming succeeding trial. The probability of success, we are going to use sign P and the probability of failure, we are going to use sign Q, that is 1 minus P, remain constant in each trial. Yes, this is very important probability. The same type of trial is actually there. The experiment is made up of same type of trial. So the probability of success and failure also remain same or constant in each trial. Let us take example of tossing a coin. If we toss a coin first time, the trial probability of getting head as well as tail is 1 by 2. Now, if that same coin is tossed second time, again the probability of head and tail remain 1 by 2. In the third, in the fourth and in the nth trial, the probability remain 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So similarly, in all trials of any binomial experiment, the probability of success as well as probability of failure remain constant. This is the probability density function. That means formula to calculate the probability of R number of successes. If the experiment follow binomial distribution or if the experiment satisfies these conditions of binomial distribution. It is probability of R number of successes equal to NCR. This is combination into P raised to R. That means probability of success in each and every trial that remains constant, rest to number of expected successes, Q rest to N minus R, that means probability of failure, rest to total number of trials minus desired number of successes, that means expected number of failures out of the total number of trials. Now these are properties of binomial distribution. The first is binomial distribution is discrete probability distribution. We are interested in any point value of the random variable. Mean of the binomial distribution is NP that means product of number of trials and probability of constant probability of success in each trial. Variance of the binomial distribution is NPQ N into P into Q that means number of trials multiplied by number of success, uh, probability of success multiplied by probability of failure and as we know P and Q remain constant in each and every trial. And therefore, we can say that standard deviation is under root NPQ. When P equals to Q equals to half, both are 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. The binomial distribution is a symmetric distribution. Symmetric distribution means the curve of the probability will be exactly bell shaped. That is the sign of symmetrical distribution. Next is, if P is less than half, that means probability of success is less than half, the skewness of the binomial distribution is positive and if probability of success is greater than half the skewness is negative you can say rightly skewed or left skewed variance is always less than mean why mean is np and variance is npq and we know that q is always less than one any number is multiplied by a value which is less than one it reduces the original value so practically variance is always less than mean 
when n that means number of trials is very large and p is very small that means p tends to 0 and therefore q tends to 1 the binomial distribution leads to normal distribution but i want to make one modification in this property if n is very large and p is very small first we can say that binomial distribution leads to poisson distribution but where in poisson distribution derived as limiting case of binomial distribution mean is large say mean is greater than 10 or 12 then binomial or poisson distribution leads to normal distribution so ultimately in general in case of very large number of trials we cannot use any discrete probability distribution like binomial or poisson therefore we have to use the normal distribution 